A family and an entire small community in eastern Utah are in mourning tonight after officials confirm that a married couple from Ballard died in a helicopter crash Friday near Alpine. ABC4's Nicole Newman joins us live from South Valley Regional Airport in West Jordan with more on the couple and the young children they left behind. Nicole? Rick, it was here at this airport where the couple was scheduled to arrive at 2 p.m. on Friday. Sadly, Benno and Megan Penna would never make it. Tonight, their family has released a statement. In it, loved ones say the Penna family is heartbroken at the loss of Benno and Megan Penna. Benno was a devoted husband and father who loved helping friends and family. Megan was a devoted wife, mother, and business partner with Benno. This is the pair in a picture snapped Friday morning in flight. It was posted to Megan's Facebook page. So was this video. The footage shows what some of the weather conditions were that day. You can see the clouds. There were some areas where it was more open, other areas where it was fully uh, overcast with clouds. The Department of Public Safety located the wreckage in Schoolhouse Springs around 6.30 Friday evening. The area where it is, if you if you look on a map, it uh, you get into the steeper cliffs below Lone Peak Wilderness Area, and then you get into this steep terrain with the rocks and heavy vegetation. The wreckage was found after the United States Air Force alerted Central Utah Dispatch that aircraft was overdue after taking off from a private residence in Ballard earlier in the day. There was a small fire. Uh, it it didn't, wasn't fully engulfed by any means uh, with the wreckage, uh, but there was a small fire in a part of the helicopter, but uh, it didn't destroy the, the whole thing. The NTSB and FAA are now investigating. Officials don't know yet if the fire happened before or after the crash. They do know Mr. Penna was the pilot. Officials say the helicopter was a Robinson 44, which sits four people. What we were told is that uh, he had either uh, leased this aircraft, this helicopter or was, uh, for lack of a better term, giving a test run uh, in consideration of leasing it. The couple does leave behind a six-year-old son and a five-year-old daughter. The family says it is very grateful to the community for its support. However, they are asking for privacy at this time. Live in West Jordan, Nicole Newman, ABC4 News.